Welcome to Black Sheep, the series where I will take a look at entries in video game franchises that were poorly received or controversial among the fans. Now in this series, I won't be dwelling on negative aspects of the games. Instead, I will be looking in detail at the things I like about the games, whether it was the story, gameplay, music, or anything else it contained, and see if they are really deserving of the infamy that they have. For this episode, I will be taking a look at Golden Axe, Beast Rider. Golden Axe is one of the many classic series from Sega. Making its debut in 1989 in arcades and on the Sega Genesis system, Golden Axe was a simple but very enjoyable hack and slash game. Players were able to choose from three different characters who battled their way through many great action-packed levels to stop the demon warrior Death Adder. The game was so well received it had two sequels on the Sega Genesis, two spin-offs for the Game Gear, and another great arcade game, Golden Axe, Revenge of the Death Adder. After a long hiatus, Golden Axe returned in 2008 with Golden Axe Beast Rider. Developed by Secret Level, Golden Axe Beast Rider was a reimagining of the Golden Axe universe where you played as Tyrus Flair, one of the three characters from the original Golden Axe. It was the series' first and currently only foray into 3D. The story in previous Golden Axe games was always pretty minimal, and this was something that changed in Beast Rider. As previously stated, Golden Axe Beast Rider is a reimagining of the Golden Axe world. The giant creatures from the original game, called Titans and Beast Rider, are nearly extinct. Only the Dragon Titan remains, and Tyrus Flair and her Axirian sisters seek the dragon's help in stopping Death Adder's brutal conquest. During the ceremony, however, the dragon is attacked by Death Adder's armies and captured. Her fellow Axirian slain, Tyrus sets off on a quest of vengeance. To free the dragon and defeat Death Adder, Tyrus must restore the legendary Golden Axe. While there isn't a substantial amount of cutscenes, they are peppered in key moments of the game, and in them you meet other Golden Axe characters like Gilius Thunderhead and the Axe Battler Tarek. After finding the pieces of the Golden Axe across the land of Uria, Tyrus rescues the dragon. But in a neat twist, his life force is needed to complete the Golden Axe, so he sacrifices himself to help Tyrus. The final showdown between Death Adder and Tyrus is actually pretty darn cool, as she faces off against him first in his armored form, and then in his true demon form. Upon defeating the Death Adder, it seems like Tyrus's quest is at last complete, but then Tarek shows up again and says an even greater evil has been unleashed, and then the game ends. Quite abruptly. And unfortunately, this will never be resolved. With the exception of the ending, the story of Golden Axe Beast Rider is pretty enjoyable, and I enjoyed the reimagining of the characters, particularly Tyrus and Death Adder. You cannot ask this of me. I have lived my life only to serve and protect you. Then serve me now, child. You are an Axirian warrior, born of fire. Yours is not the right to question the Lord of the Skies. Be at peace, Tyrus Flair. We shall ride the winds together in another life. The combat from previous Golden Axe games was always pretty simple, but in Golden Axe Beast Rider the combat system expanded quite a bit. Tyrus has the standard light and heavy attacks, and if your timing is good on the button presses, her sword is engulfed in flames and she does more damage. The combo potential isn't nearly as high as games like God of War or Devil May Cry, but there is a decent amount of variation. Tyrus' defensive moves are a huge part of the game as well. Enemies will attack you with moves that must be blocked or evaded. Before every attack, their weapon will glow blue for block or orange for evade. Good reactions and timing are key to surviving many of the game's fights. And if your timing is particularly good, you can do devastating, brutal counters on enemies, including bosses. The magic system is actually pretty similar to the classic Golden Axe games. You collect blue potions to use magic, and the more potions you use at once, the more powerful the spell is. All of Tyrus's fiery magic has three levels to them, and the third level unleashes an aspect of the Dragon Titan, which annihilates everyone on screen. 
You only have a limited amount of potions for each section, and the best way to get more is... The gnomes. The gnomes popped up every now and then in each stage in Golden Axe, and the same is true in Beast Rider. These speedy little guys can give you health, magic potions, and gold, but you have to hit them first. It's a nice little throwback to the classic games, and even the bonus round music from the original Golden Axe plays in these sections. Tyrus can obliterate her foes with her sword and sorcery, but her most powerful weapon is the Beasts of Yuri. Mounting beasts and bringing the pain to enemies has always been a fun part of Golden Axe, and the beasts in this game are quite unique. The first beast you can ride is the Arbrax, a raptor-like creature that can breathe fire and decimate enemies with its clubbed tail. Then there is the Lynth, a swift beast who can pounce on foes and even turn invisible. The larger beasts, such as the Kramath and the Myragor, can flatten and rend both beasts and humans alike. And the most powerful beast in the game, the Megabrax, is a massive monster who is extremely satisfying to use, as she can devour the strongest foes in the game with ease. The game definitely makes good on its subtitle, as the beasts are a big part of the core gameplay, and in my opinion, are very fun to use. As you may have already noticed, this game is quite bloody, which is another significant change from the previous games in the series. I think it kind of fits, however. The barbarian world of Golden Axe is more dark in this game, and the desolate environments and vicious enemies make it even more fitting. Yuria is a world on the brink of ruin, and this is made clear in many of the game's stages. Some people may have not liked this more mature tone in Golden Axe, but to be honest, I think it works. So what was a reason this game was not well received? Well, co-op was a big part of the earlier Golden Axe games. Players could team up to take down the enemies of Yuria in previous titles, and this aspect was removed from Beast Rider, as it was strictly a single-player experience. Many fans lamented the loss of co-op, but given how the combat engine works in this game, I don't really see how it would work beyond single-player. I love cooperative games. Co-op games like Resident Evil 5 and Diablo 3 are some of my favorite out there, but I also love strong single-player experiences. And while Golden Axe Beast Rider may not be one of the most polished games out there, it is one I enjoyed playing and a title I've returned to several times over the years. The developer Secret Level was one of Sega's ill-fated studios. They made several titles for Sega including the Iron Man games before being shuttered. But in my opinion, Golden Axe Beast Rider is by far the best game they made. You can tell they had a great love for the series and wanted to take their own spin on it. And while the end result didn't please some people, I think that Beast Rider is a game that isn't quite deserving of the reputation it has. The textures are sometimes poor, and occasionally the combat inputs have a hiccup or two, but in general, it's a game that plays quite well once you understand its mechanics, and one I found to be an enjoyable entry into a series I love. Will we ever see another Golden Axe game? I sincerely hope so. There is no denying that Sega has had a tough time over the last decade, and they have many great franchises that haven't had a new entry or were never released outside of Japan. Whether it's through Sega themselves or another studio, I do hope we'll see another Golden Axe in the future. And until that day comes, I will enjoy the older Golden Axe games, including Golden Axe Beast Rider. Thank you for watching this episode of Black Sheep. What are your thoughts on Golden Axe Beast Rider? Did you enjoy Tyrus Flare's 3D adventure, or not so much? Also, if you have any ideas for other Black Sheep games, feel free to share them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like. Until next time, keep having great adventures, everyone.